Next up, we got the World Junior Previews. It's uh, it's the time of year where COVID, I mean, the World Juniors is here. Uh, it was supposed to start the 19th of December, the pre-tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's starting instead the 23rd, officially mm -hmm. starting the 26th. Where is this happening, and uh, what are you most excited about, Stephen? Tell us a little bit uh, about this. Yeah, okay. So the tournament this year is happening in Edmonton and Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Yep. Uh, it was it was there last year as well because it was originally supposed to be, or it was yeah, just supposed to be there last year. But then because of the COVID pandemic, they had it in only Edmonton last year, and then this year it's in both Edmonton and Red Deer. Okay. Um, yeah, what am I looking forward to the most? I mean, just just watching the World Juniors, man. That's what it's all about for me. Like, I love this time of year. Like, you got it's Christmas the day before. I mean, you got New Year's coming up after. You just get hockey all day. You get to see these young guys who, like, either are looking to still get drafted or just looking to impress and, like, they've been drafted and just trying to, you know, go out there and represent their country. I mean, it's something for me, like, I don't know. I just love any sort of international tournament. Because it's that time, it's the one chance you get to like represent where you're from, and you're you can be happy about it and be proud to to represent like can like for me and for you to represent Canada and just you know go out there and be happy about what they can accomplish and you know go for gold and you just know like it's such a big thing here too in Canada the World Junior so it's it's awesome to watch I mean everyone gets into it. It's our, as far as I'm concerned. It's our modern day equivalent to the military. Um, <laughs> we have no military, but this, yeah. damn it, we take pride in it. Um, it's as if we see we have troops going to the front lines, propaganda, a whole, whole nine yards, man. We Canadians support Canadians, absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, it, Canada is one of the favorites, as usual to win gold and that's that's awesome to hear every single year um mm -hmm. the united states of course and russia are uh, always the top competitor we got sweden we got good youth um and slovakia switzerland those are other countries germany austria chechnya finland those will mm -hmm. be other teams joining any sleepers do you see in there uh well i mean there's the usual like i mean germany is always a team that like they can pull off an upset if they if they play well um slovakia is usually another one of those teams switzerland uh austria i can, maybe you could throw them in that category but i don't see them doing damage to be honest um yeah I'd... sweden i mean I, I was gonna say with sweden i know they have a streak right now I think it's, I forgot how many years or how many games. I think, I want to say it's 10 years in a row. They haven't lost a group stage game. They've gone undefeated in the group stage. Interesting. Okay. And so like, yeah, they always finish first in the group. They win every group stage game. But then that, I think that's only ever gone. Like, I think they've only, no, I don't even know if they have a gold medal in that time. I think, I know they have like two or three silvers, like, they very rarely do well in the knockout stage, but they kill it in the group stage every single year. So it'll be interesting to see. I think that's the biggest thing to look forward to. And it usually is every year is to see if how will they do in the group stage? Can they keep up that group stage win streak? And also if they do, can they finally actually do something in the knockout stage? Can they actually finally win a goal? Yes. Sweden last time won a gold in 2012. And that was the last and only time they've ever won a gold. Wow. Yep. Yeah. It's been a while. I know like since then, like I know 2018, they lost to Canada in the gold medal game. They, it's always just been losing. It's, they, they can't get medals and it's, it sucks. Like they, they do so well in the group stage and they just can't get it done in the knockouts. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they can buck that trend this time. They do have a tough group though. Yeah. They're with the US, Russia, themselves, Slovakia, and Switzerland. So it is a pretty stacked group. If you ask me, very strong. Group A is a little weaker, but Finland, they in recent years since two, mm -hmm. 2014, they've been winning gold after gold after gold. Yes. And Finland, yeah, so the track on. record, the track record looks like this year they're poised to win a gold. Yeah. Finland is you, you summed it up perfectly. Like they're one of those teams that like just as of recent, like especially in the past, like five, ten years, like, holy, they've just, 
exploded onto the scene. And when you think about too, like how the country of Finland only has like a population of like five and a half million people, like it's it's insane that they can do this. They can have this kind of success. I mean, they're obviously they're really good at hockey, clearly. So you don't need to have a population of 30 million or like the US, like 300 million, you know? Yep. You just have to, to have a good hockey good. program. Exactly. That's it. I mean, they just have whatever. That's what they're passionate about. They love their hockey and they want to be good at it. Oh, okay. Sweden's won another gold. They got, yeah, 1981. Nah. <laughs> Very 81. far back. Very far back. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, since then, like 2013, 2014, 2018 silvers. 2020 they got a bronze like 2010 they got a bronze they have the most silvers they have the most silvers out of all the teams that's that's not a stat you want no (laughs) it's nice it's nice like when you could look back and be like hey we finished second it's better than germany or austria they haven't even gotten on board man that is true i mean germany though i feel like their their history with hockey it's just beginning if you ask me like they like i mean europe is a is a is in a market that's really developed. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, really, like Finland, Sweden, Russia are like the big European powerhouses. Yep. And then you got like Czech Republic, who's like a maybe a solid like number six. Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland's been getting really strong too recently. They're kind of like Germany. Like the two of them have just been. You just see every year in the draft like more and more players coming from these countries and. It obviously translates when you see like their junior and how they do even in like the world championships in the spring and like the the men's ice hockey tournament. Yeah. Like you see that they they play well and they're they're in that tournament every year. They're not getting relegated like they used to be. So it just it's nice to see that. That like that, that's the thing, man. I was thinking about this too recently. How like with with hockey, like obviously I want Canada to win every single gold medal every single year, every chance, every tournament they have, right? Absolutely. I, also, I don't want it to be a walk in the park for them. Like I want it to be competitive. Because that makes for to... great games. That makes for big moments. Exactly. Yeah. That exactly. More memorable. And it's also just I think it's just better. It's better for the sport. Because that's the thing. I want I want hockey to be as big as soccer. I know I'll never get to that point. But I want it to be at that point where there never is know. like this. You never know. No, you're right. But you're maybe right. maybe it could be as big as basketball. They could be. Yeah, perhaps. Something like that. Like, you gotta, yeah, you're right. You gotta aim smaller first. You can't just aim for the big shot and be like, I wanna be that. <laughs> no, God, soccer is way too massive. Yeah, maybe when I there's mean, a second planet we inhabit, maybe they'll, maybe NHL will go international and inner space. Who knows? International, interplanetary. Interplanetary. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> interplanetary <laughs> Hockey Association. <laughs> oh my God, the Galactic Hockey League. The GHL. <laughs> oh my god. They start playing with spacecrafts and shit and they, they just crash oh into god. each other and blow up. Imagine like traveling to an away game. You gotta like leave eight months in advance to get to Mars. <laughs> yeah, they're on their way. Oh, and the Martians have blown up the, the <laughs> spacecraft. Oh no, and a rogue meteor has come out of nowhere and taken out the Russians. <laughs> What a shame. Who could have done that? <laughs> rest in peace. Oh no. The 150-year-old oh, is now dead um after playing 100 years in the NHL taking a 25-year leave of absence. Um he said he wanted to get pussy. That was the quote. <laughs> His record goals in the NHL all time stand at now 2,578. And a total of 6,900 points. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, World Junior Time, it's exciting. I'm excited. I hope you're all excited too. Um, tune in to Boxing Day. Uh, and yeah, the tournament goes as it usually does from Boxing Day to January 5th. Go hockey, go. Go. Yeah, hockey go, go. go hockey, go, man. Great time of year. That's the spirit. And this is the time where we bring out the surprise, Stephen. Mm, yes. 